This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hello there. Continuing this series of the four object-oriented design pillars, today we will talk about inheritance, a very powerful tool, and as such we should use it carefully. So in this video we will talk about how we can use inheritance not only on GDScript, but also with the scene inheritance feature in Godot Engine, and we will also talk about how inheritance is a powerful communication tool, so not only for programming language, but also for human language as well. So let's get started. So before we dive into the implementation here in Godot Engine, let's take a look on how inheritance is described, is often described using the book we are using for this series, Diving to Design Patterns. I will go to the book now. And here we can see that inheritance is described as the ability to build new classes on top of existing ones. Uh, the main benefit of inheritance is called reuse because you can make a class and then if you want to make a slightly modified class, you just need to, to inherit it and apply the, the new behaviors or change the previous behavior just a little bit. The downside of that, as it's described right below it, is that you create a hard coupling between the inherited class and its parent class. You can't hide methods, you have to implement the whole abstraction of the previous class, and this new class will have the same uh, interface. You have to keep that in mind that once you inherit a class, you will also be tight coupled to the parent class. So changes in the parent class will reflect in the child class as well. This can be used for good, but this can create some bugs as well. So you have to keep that in mind. But before we go back to Godot Engine, let me elaborate a bit on how inheritance is a very powerful tool for human communication as well. So it's a very powerful communication tool for human language. Once you describe a concept, let's say uh, we can use this example here as well. So once you describe what is an animal and what you consider that is the traits of an animal, and you say that a cat is an animal, the cat is building upon the concept of an animal as well. So everything that an animal has, the cat will have as well, and it will have more. So once you have that tool that you can reflect back on another concept, you can create more and more specialized words to communicate more and more precisely what you want to other people. You can keep building up upon this concept. So Inheritance is a very powerful language tool for human communication as well. It's true inheritance that we can build complex vocabularies for other human language as well. So we can create atomic pieces of definitions for concepts of the world, and then we build upon these atomic pieces, and then we create a very rich and complex set of words, so a very rich vocabulary. So keep that in mind when you are talking about inheritance because it's not just a programming language feature. It is a concept that you can use when you are communicating. And programming language to me is a way to communicate as well. It's a way to communicate your thoughts, your solutions for a given problem. So now that's said, let's go back to Godot Engine. So going back to Godot Engine, we will start by extending this script. So by extending, when we say we will extend a class, you can understand that we will inherit this class, okay? So if we right click on a node that has a script here on the scene tree, we have this extend script feature here, this extend script button. So we will extend this as being, remember now we will create a concrete class. So let me close here. Currently we have just an abstraction of this class the sliding panel, so we don't have anything implemented yet. And now we will inherit this abstraction, so this interface, to create a concrete class of a sliding panel, okay? So I will go here, extend script, and now I will just call it sliding script. We don't need to call concrete sliding panel. We can just call it the class it is. Uh, the abstract prepending is just communicate that this is an abstraction, so it will help others understand what this class will be, but this is a concrete one, so let's create this as a sliding panel. Remember that we have here, let me close this and this, remember that we have here this virtual function, so let me toggle the extraction free mode, this virtual function that sh this is a virtual method and shall be overridden by children classes. And now we have a children class, so let's override it. And to do that, since this is a class that inherits from the abstract panel, 
Inheritance carries every concept that the previous class or so the parent class has as well. So everything that we have here will be available to this class as well. So the properties and also the methods. We will use this method and I will go ahead just a little bit on this series because what we will do is that we will create a inheritance class and we will use polymorphism to kind of override this method. This is a concept that we will talk about later, but just keep in mind that we will do a polymorphism here. So I will call the slide method. Now I can overread it because since this is a method that is on the parent class, if I change the block of this, this function, so if I change the content of this method, uh, it will overwrite the method of the parent class. But with that, we already have our sliding panel or concrete sliding panel. But now going back to the scene, we currently have this uh, abstract sliding panel scene. And if we go here, this is what we have. So we have the concrete script on an abstract scene. This is not what we want. So I will actually drag the abstract script to this. So we have only this abstract class here. And instead we will inherit this scene and create the concrete scene of this sliding panel. So to do that, we'll go here to scene, the inherited scene, and we'll use this abstract sliding panel scene here. And then we can call it just a sliding panel. And now I can drag the sliding panel script to it. So this one we just created. And you can see that we have this great out because these are children of the previous class, so of the parent class. We cannot modify them, so we cannot delete them, for instance. You can't operate on nodes the current scene inherits from. Remember, inheritance builds upon previous concepts. So you can change the previous concept. It is building upon it. It will specialize this concept. So you can create more, but we can create less. You can remove features from the previous class. This is the concept. And with this concrete sliding panel, what we can make is that here we have an abstract sliding panel scene. This is why this is just a square and the, the direction and the values here doesn't make quite sense. But here we will actually create our panel. And now we have an inherited scene from an abstract scene and we have a concrete scene that inherits from this abstract scene. And now we can start to tweak with these values. So let's say uh, I want this duration to actually take just half second and to have uh, a slightly more distance to slide through. So I think that 150 will be good and I will save it. And going back to the sliding panel, if you save this and actually test the scene, nothing happens, right? But now I want this sliding panel to execute its behavior. So now I will create a way to call this method, to call the sliding method. And I can use this ready signal, a observer pattern that Google has. If you don't know the observer pattern, I will link in the card uh, a link to a video that I have on the design patterns and specifically on the observer pattern. And what this will do is that when this scene is completely loaded and it is inside the, the scene tree, it will call this signal. And I will connect this signal to the slide method. Connect. So now if we open this script, we are using the abstract version of this script. So now I will drag the concrete version of this script. So now we have actually a behavior to work with. And if I play this scene, you can see that the sliding panel uh, will slide. So now we have a concrete class based on an abstract class. We have a concrete scene based on a abstract scene. And we can keep building upon that. So that's it for inheritance. You can see how powerful this tool is. So don't overuse it. As I said, it has its downsides, but you can see how this is a very powerful tool that you can use to build your library of code. On the next video, we'll see how we can use polymorphism to overwrite some functions, keeping the, the previous behavior and also adding more behaviors to it. So we'll see how we can use polymorphism to that. 
I'd like to thank Greg Pennyfather for becoming one of my newest patrons. Thank you Greg so much for your support, I appreciate that. And if you as Greg like what I'm doing here and want to support my work, consider becoming one of my patrons. You will have some exclusive perks and rewards, but this is not the only way to support me. You can also leave a thumbs up so I can know that we are going towards the right direction. You can subscribe to the channel, this is very important so you can get more of my content as well. And you can also share this video and comment below if I said something that you not quite agree or if you know that is wrong, I will be more than happy to be corrected and to know what is the right way. So that said, thank you so much for watching, keep developing and until the next time.